So the, the main answer is none of the above, so maybe I better ask that one. Um, If you want to tell me uh, none of the above, what were you? What what did I leave out? West. west. Anyone think none of the above was anything other than west? Okay, it was west. How do you know if you? Take V final, add it to negative V initial. V initial is, is north and to the east. Negative V initial is south and to the west. If you add, take V final, add negative V initial, you get delta V, which is to the west, directly left. You also could have used the words that I was using back here. I said that V initial is north and to the east, and V final is north and to the west. So you say, well, how did V change? V initial was north and to the east, V finals north and to the west, the north part is still there. In fact, it's the same amount in each case, the same amount north. All that happened was you went from the horizontal direction, went from going east to going west. So that's a change toward the west. If I'm going this way, suddenly I'm going the other way, I changed that way, I changed toward the west. So you can think of it that way. I'd rather you just subtract V initial from V final, but, but it also should make sense to you what's actually going on here. That the change in the velocity, and therefore the change in the momentum, is toward the west. What do you suppose the change in momentum up at the top is? Suppose I picked a couple of these near the top. What's the change in momentum direction up at the up on the northward side of this circle. Anyone have any guesses? To the south. If something is going around in a circle at a constant speed, you're going to find, whenever you want to figure out the change in the momentum or the change in the velocity, that it always points toward the center of the circle. The velocity vector is changing all the time. It's changing its direction all the time. And it turns out it's always changing toward the center of the circle that is going around. So this is actually two questions. And I want to do the first one first. And we'll just do that quickly. So here's a picture uh, from above of, interstate, of a section of Interstate 80. This, there's a car right here at point one. It's headed east. So it, at a constant speed, so if it looks, the car, you know, the driver looks at the speedometer, it's the same number all the time. So the magnitude of the velocity vectors are going to be the same all the time. Um, car is moving east. Eventually it goes around this curve. It goes through point two, it goes through point three, point four, and then later on it's headed east again. The question for you right this second is this first one. In which direction is the velocity vector pointing when the car is at point four? So when the car is at point four, what's the direction the velocity vector is pointing? 